Hi friends, welcome to another session of QTip videos brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition of QTip videos, we shall look at an introduction to querying data using SQL API from Cosmos DB instance. Cosmos DB, as you all know, is one of a popular NoSQL databases which is currently available as an Azure service. It has on offer a SQL API which can be used for querying the data within the system. Azure Cosmos DB is a document based database which stores data in the form of documents. Now let's see through this demo how we can use SQL based query to query out data from the documents which are stored inside an Azure Cosmos DB instance. For the sake of this demo, let's consider a sample Cosmos DB instance called subscriber which consists of three containers defined inside called families, subscriber details and test names. We will be using these three containers and applying simple SQL queries on them to show you how SQL API can be used to extract data from containers inside a Cosmos DB instance. The first thing for us to understand is that the data is stored in the format of JSON documents inside the container. As such, the query that you are going to fire through the SQL API is going to parse the JSON document. Once you have this concept inside your mind, it would be very easy to understand how the various queries work against the JSON documents. As a start, we look at some simple queries and try to apply them on the family container which is inside our instance. Let's start with a simple select query to retrieve all the documents which are stored inside a container. So in our example, select star from families will give you all the documents which are stored inside the families container. Because it is select star, it retrieves the entire document inside your output. In case you want to selectively include only few columns inside that, you can always include it in the select list. So if you say select f.idf to children from families, it will retrieve you a list of all ID and children values which are inside the corresponding documents. So in this case, if you run it, you can see that the output will contain the ID corresponding to each of those documents, for example, Anderson family and Wakefield family, and also a note giving the complete children information inside each of those families. So in the first case, we have only a single child so the details of that child will be returned along with the ID of that family. Whereas in the second case, that is big fit family, we have two children. So it will return the details of both of the children along with the ID of that corresponding family. Next, we shall see how the keyword distinct can be used in the case of a Cosmos DB query so as to retrieve a distinct set of values. For this example, we can consider another container called test names which consists of duplicate city names. Each document within this container will contain a city name along with an ID. So let's see how we can apply distinct in this case to return a distinct list of cities. Let's start off by just querying a select star from the container and we, can, we shall see that it returns us a duplicate result. So now let's see how distinct can be applied. So a symbol select distinct of C dot column name from the container name, in this case, which is test names, will give us a distinct list of cities as a nodes. Now, if you want to return the distinct list as a value array, we have to use distinct value keyword so that it goes within these nodes and retrieves only the corresponding values as an array. So these examples show how the keyword distinct can be applied in the case of a Cosmos DB 
query. The next attempt for us would be to try to see how we can get a distinct count of a node value from within the document. A straightforward way to do a similar kind of requirement in Transact SQL is to make use of distinct keyword inside the count function. And it's very straightforward in Transact SQL. So if you go by the same principle and try to apply count of distinct of city from Trantus names as an example and execute the query, you will be greeted with an error message as shown on the screen. So from the error message, we say it's like syntax error in correct syntax near distinct. It's quite evident that Cosmos DB does not support the use of distinct keyword inside the count function. So then our next attempt is to make use of a derived table for calculating the distinct count of values. So what we have here are two versions of derived tables. In the first case we are applying select distinct keyword over the actual value to return you a distinct set of values from the derived table and then you apply a count on top of that distinct values which are returned as a list. We can try executing this query. On executing it, you will see that you will get the distinct count as 4 which is correct if you remember the earlier output that we got for select distinct. Including the blank, blank value, we have 4 values available inside CT, 4 distinct values. So which means that the query that we have tried this time is the best way to find out the distinct count. Now since we are using select distinct inside the derived table, we know that coming from a TSQL background, we can also apply the same logic by using a group by clause. So this select distinct on a field name as well as select group by a field name are kind of the same methods which returns us a distinct list of values from the field. So going by that theory, we can try for an alternate approach where the internal derived table we will be making use of group by clause so as to get a distinct list of values. So the query will look like select t.ct from test names as t group by t.ct. So we are applying group by in this case so as to get us a distinct list of city names. And we are returning it as a list and applying the count on top of it. Now let's try executing this version as well. And as you see again we will end up getting the same correct distinct counts. So these are two methods in which you can get distinct count of a not value from within your document in Azure Cosmos DB. And beware that direct use of the keyword distinct inside count is not supported in Cosmos DB SQL API queries. Let's conclude this session by seeing how we can find out the count of occurrences per each node value. Comparing again to a Transact SQL query, in the case of Transact SQL, we can apply a simple group by on top of the field and use count function over the field to get a list of count of occurrences for each values in the field. So going by the same way, we shall write a query like select t.ct, count of 1 as ct count which is basically getting the number of occurrences from just names as t group by t.ct. Now let's try executing this query and see if we are able to get the same result in Cosmos DB. That is each of the unique city names along with the number of times the nodes are occurring inside the document. Clicking on execute selection will give you the result which when you check you can find that the result is correct. Which means query to find out the count of occurrence per node value is same as that in the transactor scale. So if you see the first one gives you just a city count of 2. Those are for the occurrences where you didn't have the occurrence of city node within that document. And for all the other cities, for example, Madurai, Chennai and all, you will get the associated count along with the city names. So Madurai has one occurrence, Chennai has two occurrence and Salem has three occurrence. 
go back to the list of items you can check that and you can find there are like a couple of nodes without city node being present they contain towns instead which proves that the result that you have got out of this query is correct so this shows how we can apply the group by expression inside the cosmos db query so as to get the count of occurrences for each of the nodes i hope you enjoyed this introduction section on sql api query in azure cosmos db the intention behind this session is to give people an idea of how the query the basic query struct is supposed to work in azure cosmos using sql apis sql apis currently supports only select based statements remember that in the case of azure cosmos db any query you are going to fire is going to be working against json documents and the attempt of the query is to parse the json document and get the bits of data that you are trying to retrieve using the query which you are specified thank you all and hoping to see you all soon with another informative video thanks and have a great day bye